Okay, class, let's go over the O-U-G-H pronunciations. So I can be tough, but not thorough. Correct. Okay, so I can have a thought and a draught. Right, perf- Wait, no, 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 no. Let's go over these sounds again. Hey guys, I'm Bernie and welcome back to another Dynamic English video where we introduce fun tutorials to make your learning much easier. Today we're going to be learning about the four letter sequence O U G H, which appears in 617 words in the English language and has a little reputation for its unpredictable pronunciation. Even town names in the UK can't escape these four letters. I'm looking at you, Loughborough. So to conquer this pronunciation, it's easiest to learn its different sounds in groups, along with the common words that belong to each. And before you know it, pronouncing them will get a whole lot easier. Today, we're going to cover the six most common pronunciations with a paragraph at the end of the video if you want to practice and feel like a challenge. Just a small disclaimer, today I'll be covering UK pronunciation, but if there are any significant differences between the UK and the US, I'll drop a note and explain. Let's go! The first pronunciation sounds like O, oh, as in Dang. Although she waited patiently, her dough didn't rise. Although and dough. Other common words with this pronunciation are though and thorough. In the US, you will hear the last word pronounced as thorough, thorough, in most places. But in the UK, it's also common to pronounce it with an uh sound. So thorough becomes thorough. The second group sounds like oo, like in the word to or throughout the time that she worked at the other office, she took a shortcut through the city. While through and throughout, which means regularly over a period of time, are common words, they are the only two words with this pronunciation. How great is that? The third group sounds like off. <coughs> Sorry, I can't come. I have a bad cough. Just like the second group, there are only a few words in this category. The second one being trough, which is what an animal eats out of. Hey guys, you might not know this, but we're actually a language school based in Santiago, Chile with over 70 native teachers. We can conduct classes from your home, from your office, and even online. Classes can be individual or group based and are of course conversational and dynamic. To book a class with a native teacher today, then go to www.dynamicenglish.cl. The fourth group uses the sound or, much like the word saw. We use this pronunciation when the word we're reading ends in O-U-G-H-T. It's important to note that those in the US use more of an R sound, like saw, saw. I'm not so good at this, saw. <laughs> but back to the UK sound, or. Hannah thought her sister's dress was ugly. Some more common words with this sound are bought, brought, bought, fought, and sought. Our fifth group has the sound ow, ow. Under the bough of a tree, which is another word for a tree branch, a farmer tried to plough his land before the drought arrived. So bow, plough, and drought. And finally, the sixth group uses the sound uff, like the word buff. Although he was tough and his beard was rough, his wife had said she'd had enough. So tough, rough, and enough. Now that's a lot of different sounds. Let's recap. O, like do. U, like through. Off, like cough. Or, like thought. Ow, like plow, and finally, uth, like tough. Now, are you up for a challenge? Take a second to pause this video and try and read the paragraph out loud. Many of these words we've just covered.
How did you do? It should sound a little something like this. Once upon a time, there was an English student who thought he could find enough wheat flour to make dough to feed his borrower with bread. He sought for it everywhere. When he went to the store, he bought as much as he could, and while on vacation, he brought back some too. But things were getting rough, and although he had a cold and a bad cough, he still managed to plough through the winter, though he wasn't feeling well. He continued his tough search. He fought long and hard. After many months, his thorough search ought to have come to an end. Next to a tree, there was an old river trough, and inside it was plenty of flour to make enough dough to feed his burrow. Ugh. <laughs> that was hard for me. Thank you for watching today's video and keep on practicing your O-U-G-H pronunciations. If you would like to see more content like this and be notified every single time we post, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. We have got plenty more videos to help you with your pronunciation. So why not check some out today? You can click here or you could click here or maybe here.